Hey guys, this is Trevor with High Desert Tactical, and I'm on my way to work like normal. And by the title of this video, you guys obviously can tell, I want to know, can you tell what crazy looks like? And if you haven't noticed by watching my channel yet, I've always had more questions than answers. And I always really dig asking questions because I like to know other people's ideas and opinions so I can kind of collaborate my own opinion. I like to learn from other be other people's experiences and stuff. But the main thing that I've been kind of thinking about is there's a couple thoughts that have crossed my mind through conversations that I've had lately, and actually past tense, is the first thing is, like I said, can you really tell what crazy looks like? Because when you look at these horrendous things that have happened, you know, in our, in our country, over time, not just recently, because I don't want to just stick it on to like, you know, three or four bad incidences we've had, because that happens every day. Bad things happen, horrible things happen every day. It's just what the media picks out to make it look, which is even worse, which it really isn't. There's so much more going on in our country, not just in the world, that are terrible, terrible things that we don't even know about. But just for instances that the media will post pictures of these people or things that that do these horrible things to other human beings in our country especially and they literally look crazy to me they look what look like they're nuts and the thing i have to ask myself is like do i really know what crazy looks like am i going to be able to tell that a person that walks into a building that looks like what i see on television, am I going to assume that that person is crazy and they're going to do bad things? Because it's just kind of this weird fine line that I've noticed in the mass media and just, just in general is that, again, the world is categorizing, or our world, the country, it's, I, I don't want to include places that aren't involved with what I'm talking about, but that everything's being categorized into like what is beautiful what is handsome, what is rich, what is healthy, what is perfect, what is crazy. This is what crazy, crazy looks like. This is what beautiful looks like. Do we really know what that looks like? Can we just tell by looking at a person? The other thing too is like we got this whole new thing going on where they want to have a whole new mental reform of the United States. They think somehow they need to dump tons of money in figuring out how the human mind works, which already tons of money has been invested in that. And if you don't believe me, take a look at how much pharmaceuticals in, uh, you know, psychotic medicine is made, how much money is made, and how many people invest into making medication that deals with mental issues. Just look at that. But somehow... You know, our, our leadership of our country has now decided that, that guns are always the issue. So we're just kind of swinging back to guns in this, but guns are always the issue. But now, since they can't really control the guns because the majority of the people are still still very holding on, tied onto that, onto their rights and onto the beliefs of the American freedom and the right to defend yourself, that now they want to figure out a way to categorize mental illness and make it, make it easier for them to spot that. That could be a double-edged sword, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to go all conspiracy style, but it definitely could come back and bite you in the butt if people are allowed control to start categorizing what they think uh, a mental problem is and what that problem condones as in you are allowed to do, whether you're allowed to drive a car, own a firearm, take certain kinds of medication, not take medication, behave only around certain people. You're only allowed to be around an age group, certain age group or near a certain building. Like they will start running that system. And it's just a, one more step to control over what we think freedom is. And so that's my thoughts on that. So I just want to share that with you guys. This is Trevor with High Desert Tactical. Let me know what you guys think. I gotta go.